Hey everybody, welcome back to Frostpunk. Uh, I did look it up and it seems like you can only have one outpost here. So we have, we just have to make a choice. This is our only one. And uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Now, our two coal mining spots have been opened up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit both the, oh yeah, they take a core. Okay, well, I'm gonna hit one of them. That's fine. Both of these guys are carrying some cores, so at some point I gotta bring somebody back, okay? So let's un... move here, or unpause, and let's get going. Unmove? We're gonna unmove. Sure. So, current state of affairs, we're just working on getting that hope up, and I have a plan to get there with uh, some of the faith stuff. This building can go as well. And we'll just move them over to the, the warm area. Okay, sick. This is going to be done. And... The uh, workers, I guess? Okay, now. Let's check for more gathering post spots. There's only these two things and this. I'll throw one there. And this place, I'll just do manually like we are. Uh, sorry. I lied. Let's go there. And turn this one off. Because it's getting hit by that one. Fair enough. Uh, the biggest thing that I'd like to improve here is my... My steel. That's hampering me a little bit. My, uh, coal is hampering me a little bit. Let's heat this place. And we have this on just during the day. I haven't even gone with extended hours yet. Is that crazy? I just realized, like, we kind of ignored that all at the start. I'm going to go House of Prayer. This is going to help with the hope situation. Gathering post. These places are a little chilly. Let's up that a bit. Little chilly there. Little chilly there. Max out the cookhouse. Max out the engineers, because we had those extra that came in sick. Rock formation. Frozen forest. Frick. Okay, so that's there. I'll tell you what. Let's bring you back. Okay? And then you can cycle up to the frozen forest and see what happens. Now... Food's going to get made. We are over-consuming on coal. Even with this new one, interestingly. 20.4 per hour. These are bringing in way more. 22.4 per hour. Huh. This is 51 per hour at the steam coal mine. So that's a significant boost. Oh, steam cores as well. Sick, dude. Oh, there's just so many more things. How far do I push it? I'm wondering if I should bring them back. I'm going to I'm going to actually yeah, I will bring them all back. Okay? Let's do that. We don't have faster scout sleds. That's another thing that could be amazing for us. These we want to hit as many of these little inside houses as we can, I suppose. Mm, could this be better? Yeah, probably. 23 vacant there. This tent could go, but like these things are being blocked. Anyways, I guess I could throw some kids there. Actually, no. I have this one. Turn that off. Let's leave it at that for now until some of these other things get cleared. Make sure these are connected. We'll see what that does for hope. 
Okay, coal mining optimization now. Now do we see that this is in line? Actually, no. Double rations for kids. Hope will rise. You know what? Man, that's a, actually a lot of working kids. I'm going to say no. I, it, maybe that's crazy. But I don't think that it is. I don't think that's too crazy. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go difference engine to go advanced steel. Because that's clearly an issue. Hope rises. Good. And now we can blast off sermons and stuff. That's going to help. Limb amputated. Care house or prosthetic law. I've already done that. We've already done that, man. We've already done it. Yeah, I need these cores back. Because I need to build more iron. I wonder if I should just do more thumpers. At this point. Here's a similar situation again where I've got all this coal. So, uh... Okay. I mean, if I can use it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I need food storage. Okay, gathering post. This place is clear. Okay. Okay. I'm just looking to see, is there anything that I'm missing? I obviously have some places where, like, kids and people could go and work. Um, I'm really concerned about my coal income, as you might guess. So I just have to wait for these cores to come in. Rebirth of Faith. Nice. So... There's some nice rations. We're going to put, uh, or that was raw food. We'll just put rations there. Then I can save the other one. And then we're going to send these guys back out. We'll upgrade that one. Come on, Hope. Some people are cold at home. Now, who would be cold at home? Do I still have some, like, extraneous... <laughs> oh, yeah. Of course. I have some w very weird tents out here. Now, these places are actually... Hold on. These places are fine. So, do I have any other tents? Let's just... Okay, we're going to cycle through here. This bunkhouse is cold. Deleted. That bunkhouse, also cold. Deleted. All of these are fine. I wonder how it decides what order it cycles through. Oh, was there another one? Yep. Yep. Another one. Okay. So now... We'll put these in the heated areas. And everyone should be pumped about this. Steam cores galore. Awesome, dudes. Race to the frozen pond with Buddy Bear there. Now this little tent 
not getting hit, so I'm just going to delete it. All right. Um, maybe some wood there, possibly. I actually think now... Let's turn this off. Free up some engineers. Turn this off. Turn this off. Turn that off. Okay. So then what we'll do, build <laughs> even more workshops. Is this crazy? Yeah. I think I know the answer to that. Look at all the steel we have now, though. So let's assume that things are going to start getting colder. Okay? Let's assume that. Why am I building all those inner ones first? Great question. Uh, we could fix some of these roads by just getting rid of them. I do need some steam hubs. Need something around there. One, two, three. We'll just connect that. <laughs> okay. I can't quite hit all of these. We're overproducing that, which is good. Steam coal, steam coal. And let's go... Steam coal. Okay. Go there, and then we'll send the other guy south. Silence in the ruins. We keep listening, but the ruins are deathly silent. We've done everything we can, but we have to accept there's no chance of finding any more survivors. Okay. Cool. I mean, that's all fine and good. Research-wise... Another 10% more efficient on coal mining. Could go with double efficiency upgrades here. You know what? I'm doing it. Go here. And go here. I still have five engineers left over. I'll fill that up. I do feel like, still, I probably have some extra... Okay, that one's off. I'm going to shut that one off as well. And I'm going to shut this off. Okay. So, I'll tell you what. I will build one more workshop. And can I... The hungry should get fed. I mean, there's nothing else I could do. I just realized I have to get hope up in one freaking day here. Whoa. I did not realize the timeline aspect of things. Okay. So I just need to take any hope options that I can get. 
Uh, do I have any, like, sermons I can blast? No. Hungry, we're fed. Good. Oh my god. This is very problematic. Okay, so you'll go south. Oh, frick. Ugh. It's a little bit sketch. Coal mines are more efficient. Heating more efficient. Work day ends. It's off time. These places are gone. What could I do for, like... Temporary hope benefits. One day, four hours. Okay, so we now go here. Let's overdrive this. Just get everybody nice and toasty. And then I need something. I need a major hope boost in here. Evening prayers or shrines. Raises hope of people working. And efficiency or evening prayers with rations. I'm actually not sure what would be better. I feel like shrines because then I can just hit a whole bunch of working positions. I'm just going to kind of go crazy. Why is that invalid? Oh man, this is really close. Can't get the mine hit there, I guess. Okay. Okay, come on. Can we get this even higher? Oh, frick. What could I do? We're so close. What can I do? What can I do? Oh no. What can I do? That unpopular decision, I feel like if that fell, we'd be good. Oh, we're getting warmer here. Love that. You have found hope! Nope. It's just insane how close we are. Go to the wreck. Maybe if I can hit this. Generator efficiency, okay. Advanced steel. Sermon? Look at, oh my freaking god. Breath of hope. Come on, baby. Oh, frick. It did fall. Book of laws now. I'm going to go...
evening prayers. Hear me, hear me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, wow. That's crazy. Okay, so now... <laughs> We're not done, of course. Winter home is recovered under your able management. Your people will now follow you through thick and thin, convinced that you are the right leader. Honestly, I think we've kicked ass. Now we must find out what's wrong with the generator. First, we need to research and re and build the repair station so we can examine the generator. Okay. I, I feel like I'm going to turn one of these off because uh, we're just emptying it, right? Oh, look at that. Our coal is almost over. Our food rations are at max as well. Let's get that built. Okay. Discontent is minus. Like, I don't think I've ever seen discontent empty like this. This place can go. I might as well just dismantle these. Get a bunch of resources, right? So now I need to, it says, research the repair station, build and man the repair station, research the cause of the generator's malfunction in the repair station. All right. I will break that one down and see how it goes. Repair station. Technology tree will be opened. <sighs> yeah, that's new. Allows us to examine the generator and monitor operations. Okay, well, I can knock that out pretty quickly, I think. Should I build... Another one? Let's see what happens here. Advanced Steelworks. Repair station. Okay, that should help. Um, I have one core left. So if I went into like... Yeah, see, that requires two. So I would need to find another steam core to get more wood. I suppose... I know it's a bit awkward, but I'll try my best. So we'll say um, food rations here. Coal. 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 Oops. That's great. Okay. And you find nothing. Holy, we are getting real deep here. Real deep. Okay. Workers. Do I have anything else that can be torn down? Like, do we have any other ruins? Or are we cleared of all ruins? Is it possible? No. It's not possible. <laughs> now, I can't tab through these. Unless that's because maybe this is actually the last one. Okay. Now, I would go ahead and start, like, upgrading the... Houses? I just don't want to burn through all the wood here. So I think I'm just going to chill. Temperature-wise, like... I don't want to jinx anything, but it's kind of been fine. I can't believe we haven't gone into extended shift stuff. That's only on during work hours, so that's all good. 
Generator condition worsens. Wait now. Odd creaking noises were heard from the generator. It seems that whatever the problem is is getting worse. Rumors have started circulating the city. People are afraid the generator will break down again. We must inspect it right away. Well, I, like I'm, I'm literally trying. Oh, this thing is just climbing. Holy frick. Okay. Well, let's get to tomorrow. Oh, is this climbing? Oh no, it's dropping. Okay. Good. I was like, damn. Get to work, everyone. Good thing we have a billion engineers for all the research. Mass grave. Oh, I'm sure that'll be fun. Steam course. Ooh, hello. We got options. Too heavy a burden. This is one of the enormous cargo trailers designed to be hauled by the Dreadnoughts. They carry all kinds of goods from construction materials uh, to coal to food rations to scout sledges and steam cores. The trailers balance precariously on the edge of a deep ravine. It was abandoned when the ice bridge cracked under its weight. We could take the supplies and be safely reached or risk entering the trailer to carry more. Decide what to do later. So, okay. Let's just think about this. Because we have this dreadnought here and there's nothing I can do with it yet. But we had to leave it there. And then this is saying this could be... Um, Wait, what does it say out here? Trailer that the third dreadnought was hauling. Okay. And does this guy have anything on him? He doesn't. So if we lose him, we just lose some people. I'm going to say risk it. Oh, God. <laughs> uh huh. Yep. Yeah. It fell. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that's cool. Cool, cool, cool. That was a bit greedy, wasn't it? I guess so. Okay, let's see what happens when this pops. Okay, now build the repair station. Allows us to examine the generator, monitor its operations. Oh, hello. Whoa, cool, dude. So neat. Uh, before we unpause, let's just take a quick look at things here. I have a lot of vacant beds. Food is fine. Coal seems fine. That could be nice. Getting into that uh, house situation. If I find another steam core, I'll do that, but until that happens, doesn't really make a lot of sense. Resource depot upgrade. You know what? I'll, I'll whip that out. Could whip this out before the day ends with all these engineers. Okay, so sick. Now we just got a whole bunch of extra storage. Love it. Let's take housing redesign. This is being handled by two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to just manning two of them. Okay. I have so many hospitals open that I don't need. What is this? Okay, repair station. Oh, I need 60 engineers. Holy frick. Okay. Well. 
I just said I have a whole bunch of these that I don't need, so that's kind of cool. I do need to have some, so... Okay, 10. Is that enough? Hopefully. Uh, research will slow down. I don't see that as necessarily a bad thing, considering where we're at here, but... This is like... I have 103 engineers. It's not bad. Okay, I need six more. <laughs> God. <laughs> you guys, holy brick. I'll turn these all off. Okay. Inspection in progress. 13 hours. Yep. Inspect away, guys. Do we have a timeline on this? Oh, yeah, we do. I gotta really start paying more attention to those timelines. The last dreadnought. Okay. The chief engineer of the team investigating the cause of the generator malfunction takes you aside. You're visibly concerned. I was thinking about the last of the dreadnoughts that we brought us here. Uh, the only one we haven't taken apart yet. It's first, it seemed we'd have to dismantle it to fix the generator. Now I think we may need it intact after all, just in case, you know, we have to leave the city. Okay, so that's referring to this. Is there anything I need to blast off here? No. Um, how's my coal? It's good, believe it or not. I think I'm overheating right now. I don't think I need to be heating at that level. United by faith. Good. Yeah. People are happy. Oh, steam course. Yep. Oh, and that. Okay. Perfect. Perfect timing. Will they work around the clock, you think? They actually are working around the clock. The generator's deteriorating, a frightened crowd. Generator stress rises, discontent rises. Okay, so, yeah, well, okay. So it's rising, but like not really. It, it simmers down. Generator report is ready. Our engineers will have finished inspecting the generator. It has a catastrophic flaw. Sweet. It'll keep breaking down and each malfunction will cause the stress within the generator to start rising. We'll be able to patch it up using the repair station, but these fixes will not last long. It will eventually break down permanently and then explode from the rising stress. Winter home is doomed. Is that it? Whoa. Whoa, okay. We have to evacuate. <laughs> okay. The chief engineer says there's still hope. We can't, we didn't dismantle the last of our dreadnoughts. If we repair it, we can leave Winterhome and find another place to live. Yet people are doubtful. Where would we go? It's nothing but a frozen wasteland. Lie and say we know of another city. People will believe you. Hope will rise greatly. People will lose heart. Work efficiency will fall. Why? Well, <laughs> I'm going to tell them I know, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, I know, guys. I know where I know where we're going. It's, yep. Just work with me. Our only option is to evacuate as many people as possible using the dreadnought we didn't fully dismantle. We first have to find an evacuation or build an evacuation center. Then we have to send engineers to refit the dreadnought. We'll need steel and steam cores to convert decks into cabins for people on board and food rations to feed them through their journey. Steel and steam cores. Oh, boy. And food rations. Okay. The food rations, we have some. I have some steel. The cores are an issue. I'm bringing back two. Build an evacuation center. Send people to the dreadnought. Where does this go? You must have a special slot somewhere. Okay. Okay. build it. We have 14 days. Yo, this is sick, you guys. This is this is sick. 
I'm going to turn that off a bit. Have I not built the advanced steelworks? Yeah, no, I did. Okay. So I'm doing the best that I can there, literally. Um... Hmm. Should I send my automaton to work here now? At steel? Yeah, sure. Okay. Now, where are all my engineers at? So they, they have to stay in here? Or can I pull them out? I guess... I Okay. If it's gonna routinely get broken, then perhaps I'll, I can just shuffle people around. A little bit annoying, but hey, whatever. We're figuring things out as we go. Let's dismantle some of these. Now, actually, speaking of dismantling, there might be... I might be able to get rid of some stuff. Housing, like, I have a whole bunch of vacant beds. So. Let's start dismantling some of this stuff. And I'm not actually going to build better housing now so I can save the, uh, the steel. This place only needs to work during the day now. Fifty-eight vacant beds still. Okay, let's just cycle through here. Just trying to see if I'm missing anything on the outskirts. Aha. Uh -huh. That can go. Yep, that can go. That can go. We'll place that one. Repair station improvements. Okay. The evacuation zone and people will take time, so we need to keep the generator running. Unfortunately, our engineers have several ideas about how to raise the efficiency. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay, so we have two options. Repair station efficiency. Custom set of tools that raises the efficiency of the repair station by 10%, or allows us to use... Allows us to... Advanced generator repairs by 10% using wood and steel. Ooh, okay. Uh, what am I researching right now? The house redesign? I'm going to abort that. And, uh... Let's go efficiency here. Okay. Laws. You know what? I think we'll go into emergency shifts and extended shifts. Listen, everyone. New law is signed. And let me check my food situation. It's good. Pretty much all my workers. Well, that's not true. 
It says I need to have rations, right? So what I'm thinking is man the dreadnought. Okay, the evacuation center is operational. We can send engineers to the dreadnought. Once there, they'll be able to start restoring it to a serviceable condition using the resources we send them. Let's take a look. Wow. What does this mean? Have engineers on the dreadnought site. Okay, so I gotta make engineers available. Get rid of that. I'm just, I'm also thinking, okay, how many do I absolutely need to have here? In the uh, medical tents. Thankfully, it kind of seems like the medical side of things is, is being handled pretty well. So that's 24. And we needed 25. Actually, I could send 50. Wait, should I send 50? Let's see. I can. Is that... Is that beneficial? Like, does it get done faster? Do I still need to have... Yeah, so, okay, maybe that's the trick here, right? I have 103 engineers. If I need 60 here and I send 50, then that could be obviously a, a problem. So, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to send the, the requirement of 25. 25 are being sent. Send a new transport. Cool. This is wild, dude. I don't I don't know what to expect here. This is by far the coolest scenario. I don't care if we win or lose. This is the coolest scenario so far. Yeah, so it's going there. We're coming home with some steam cores. That's all well and good. Cool, great, excellent. Um I have four engineers available, so we'll go there. Okay. Let's go... Uh, resource depots. Let's check our consumption. It's awesome. So we dropped it down to steam level two. We'll just build up a nice little surplus in case bad things happen. It's going to take 21 hours for them to get there. Um, okay. So I'm going to put this for rations. Repair station efficiency. Okay, sweet. Now... Thanks to better workload distribution, the repair station will employ fewer engineers. Let's start with that. Now, I guess, like, should I just, should I be having people in here right now? Uh, like, it says there's nothing to repair. Malfunctions will be much more severe. Repairs will not be carried out. I kind of don't understand. Not kind of. I I don't I don't understand. Okay. Optimize shifts. We'll go efficiency. And I'm kind of now I don't really want to spend anything either. And it makes me think like, hey, maybe these bunk houses for the steel could be removed and I could just uh, have the tents instead because that seems fine OK. 
Okay. I hope I'm not being too aggressive here, but... Now, these places out here technically aren't getting hit by, like, a steam hub, so I might need to heat that. It's okay. Book of Laws. Let's go extended shifts. And, like, I have a lot of discontent to play with. So, steelworks, coal, and wood. Everything else is fine. Okay, nice, they're back. I guess the idea here is I'll just disband them. Because there's nothing for me to do out there. Uh, this. Disband. If we're ever desperate, I suppose I could dismantle that too. Okay, so the generators broke down. So we got to put engineers on there now, right? Have to repair it immediately. Got it. Hope falls greatly. It's fine. Everyone, chill the frick out. It's fine. <laughs> Is it? Is it fine? Okay, so how many do I need? Um, I have... Uh, hold on. Those two things to keep people healthy. That's good. Let's also blast off some of these. Kind of forgot about those, not gonna lie. I need 11 more. Um... Okay, this is good. Repair. Yeah, it seems like that's what I need to do. Automaton can't refuel. Right, because the generator is down. Makes sense. Uh, the problem is now, though, that people could be getting sick in these 12 hours. Yeah, see that? Oh, very interesting. Very interesting, guys. How many other stations do I have? I got two running right now. I'm going to say that the research is the least important of the possible outcomes here. So I'm going to try to keep people from being sick. Um, repair the generator. First crew in place. Okay. The first of the crew have just reached the dreadnought. They can now start refitting. People we evacuate will need cabins and food rations. If we don't make sure they have them, they'll die during the journey. The more people we send, the more they'll need. You need to balance this to ensure a successful evacuation. To convert the first deck into cabins, we'll need 300 steel and one steam core. To feed the people currently on the dreadnought, we'll need 250 rations. Doesn't seem... T that seems doable. Wait, so, hold on a sec. Um. Oh, 
Okay, I see. So I'm filling these little bars. This is just... This is a whole new interface that we've never seen. So I'll, I feel like it's telling me I should just send the minimum. Right? And I can send 50 people at a time. So I'll start with the kids. It looks like... Whoa. Oh, I see. Okay. 5,000 total rations? Oh, okay. I am picking up what you're putting down. So I'm going to need a shitload of steel. Which is a problem. Definitely. I'm... <laughs> I might need to dismantle a bunch of stuff. I mean, if I want the cores, I'm going to have to dismantle stuff and just be like, okay, good luck, send it, right? And hope that we have enough uh, coal to kind of get us through because we could dismantle some of those things. But we'll send the minimums and see what happens. So 50... We'll send 50 kids. We'll send... 300 steel, 250 rations, and one steam core for now. Just to, we'll just see how it works. Okay. Okay. We've refitted the dreadnought to provide basic accommodation and supplies. Now you have to send enough coal to start it. Then be ready to launch when you give the order. However, there's still a number of people left in the city. To evacuate more, you need to prepare the cabins and provisions for them. Otherwise, your journey will end badly. How you proceed with the evacuation is up to you. Wow. Okay, so it's optional to max it out. I could send 5,000 right now. I guess there's no reason to do that just yet. Um, where we're going to struggle is the rations department, for sure. I wonder... Eight hundred coal a day. We currently have a surplus. Well, okay. Well, I got to get things up and running first. Let's wait for that. Wait. Oh, yeah. These places aren't heated. Generator is operational. If you keep engineers employed at the repair station, they will monitor the generator. When it breaks down again, they will repair it faster. Interesting. Very interesting. <sighs> um, I guess I feel like I can bounce these guys out of here. And then we can throw in when necessary. I'll shut this one down. So I do feel like some of these things could be nice. Blackmail. What the frick? An engineer takes you aside. He lays before you a map of the area around Winterhome. I know you lied to us. There's no known settlements nearby. I've kept this to myself. Haven't even told my wife so far. In exchange for his silence, he demands to be sent to the Dreadnought with his family. I have to send two engineers, two children to the Dreadnought in the next transport. God damn it. Fine. God damn it. You bastard.
bastard. I'll start dismantling some of these things. Like, do I even need this beacon? I don't even know what this is. Oh, the public house. Oh, the sawmill's done. Um, yeah. I don't think I'll be able to max it, that's for sure. Let's get the last level there. I'm, the way that I'm interpreting this is like, okay, if there's no engineers in there, when it breaks down, it's going to take a little bit longer to repair. Um, but if I keep people in there, then it won't. But like, I can get a lot done too, so I don't know. Young and fragile. The youngest one should be evacuated the dreadnought immediately. The conditions here only get worse. I actually agree with that. Five days to send 50 children. Or send them all. I'm just going to send all seven youngest. Because I need people to be... Um, doing other things. I am tempted... Ooh, I am very tempted to go food additives. To see if that can just maximize the amount of food that I can create. The other option is like... go house of healing and then I can free up those engineers and build houses of healing instead yeah actually it's rather freaking gargantuan how much space, or how much do these hold? I'll build three. So now we go this, but because it's the end of the day, I'm going to now remove my engineers. Oh, I overdid it. 